Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about five short Java integration question answer. Why would you use a synchronized block with a synchronized method? A synchronized block places logs for a shorter period than synchronized method. Say for example, the synchronized method has 20 lines of code and there is a, there is a five lines of code within that method that you want to protect from the multiple threads because those five lines of code has the shared data. So only for those five lines of code we can place a synchronized block. No, no need to keep for the entire method. Okay, so that's where the synchronous block and synchronous methods comes into picture. So if you if you're placing a synchronous keyword for the method, there will be a performance hit. So better the better better we have to find out what are the lines of code that need to be protected and from the multiple threads. So identify that and only for those lines of code you can give synchronous block. Can you write a Java class that could be used for both applet as well as an application? Yes, add a main method to the applet that is possible. Can you call one constructor from another constructor if a class has multiple constructors? Yes, you can use this this syntax to call one constructor from the another constructor. How will you convert a string array to array list object? So for example, this is your string array. How do I convert? There is an API called arrays. There is a method called as list. This is already provided in Java. So arrays dot as list. The string array will be your input parameter. So this will convert to list and give it to you. Does it matter in what order catch statements for file not found exception and I/O exception are written? Yes, it does. The file not found exception is inherited from I/O exception. Okay. The exception subclass have to be caught first. So this is how the order should be. At the base, the the superclass should be mentioned and this hierarchy should be followed. Otherwise you will be getting a compilation error. Okay. So the the last child class should come first and the the superclass the parent class should come at the end. So this is how the order should be. Otherwise, you will be getting a compilation error. Hope these five questions are useful. Thank you and all the best.